Hello friends, today is the 7th day of Flutter and today we are going to see text widget and text field widget. So, we have used text widget earlier also but in this video we are going to see the properties or styling provided by the text widget. So, text widget is basically used to show or print some string on our application screen. Now, we can uh, also provide some decoration or styling to our text or string by using the properties or attributes provided by the text widget. Similarly, we are having text field widget which is basically used to take input from user. So, it is also known as text input widget. So, whenever we want to take inputs from the user, we basically or we can say commonly use this widget. Now, this widget is uh, also used for searching purpose or for uh, creating a form or, uh, or such like purpose. So, these are the two widgets which we are going to see in this video. So, now let's jump to the coding part. So, this is the app on which we are going to work. So, I will create the body of our scaffold. So, just use this bro body property. Now, I am going to use this text widget. Now, inside that, I am writing some text. Now, just hit Ctrl S. Now, you can see that this string is visible at the top left corner of our body so now we can also uh, give some styling to this uh, uh, text or string by using the style property so just so we can use this text style function and we can use the properties provided this by this function so first property is color so we can give any color to our text so so here we have changed the color of our text now we are going to increase the size of our text so here it is now we can also specify the styling or we can give some styling to our string so now it converted to italic now we can also specify uh, the font weight property here is the all attributes that are provided by this text style function so you can use any of this property so I am going to use font weight property. So just now can uh, now you can increase or decrease the weight of your text by just changing these numbers. Like you can decrease the weight of your uh, string by specifying or by changing this weights I just use control and s you can see the changes now you can also provide some background to this string for that you have to use this background color property now just hit control and s now you can see that the uh, text is uh, having its background color as yellow now just in increase Now you can give 
the letter spacing to the text and also you can give the word spacing just hit control and s so you can see the changes you can increase the spacing also and can have a look so so these are the uh, commonly used uh, we can say property of this text widget now you can send this widget at the center of your page so here we have changed the uh, alignment of our text now we can also give some shadow to our text i just use shadow function now we have used this property earlier also inside the uh, container widget so similarly in here also we can use the color and opacity features i just give this offset Now you can give the offset according to your requirement. So just give it to some. Now you can see the changes. If you will increase this offset value, like if, then the shadow and the string will be separated, like this. So just uh, so keep this offset as much as. Less now you can see. So uh, this uh, this is the text with uh, text widget which we have used. Similarly, one another widget is also there that is reach text widget in which we are using text span widget to. Uh, separate its uh, different to to create different string in a same uh, text like if we are having two word hello and co coders and we want to separate this both uh, word then we can uh, use this reach text widget so just convert this center to column widget now you can specify the children uh, just cut it from here Now you can paste it over here. Now just create one another widget that is rich text. Inside this widget, we can separate two words which are available in a single line. So this type of thing can be done using this rich text. Just use this property text and use the function text pen. Okay, here is that now inside that first text will be hello and now we are going to spec uh, give specify children so that will be also the text pen and inside that we are going to use text 
append method to specify the other text which is folders so this is uh, this is how we can uh, separate two words like you can see hello and coders now how uh, you can separate this two uh, word so give some padding from all the side now first of all we are going to give some styling to this now this is uh, this is one of the uh, we can say feature provided by this rich text that if we are having two words in a single text then if we want to provide different styling to both the word that can be applied or that can be performed using this rich text uh, rich uh, yes rich text with it so just give style to first like i am going to give the color as yellow to the first word and i will give blue color to the second text just hit control and s now you can see the difference between the uh, the prop property provided inside this text widget that the styling applied or styling used in this uh, text widget is allowed to all or is given to all the words while in text uh, rich text widget we can separate the styling by using this text to span with uh, fun method now we can also Uh, specify the other styling property like font size font style all that property we can uh, assign to this uh, uh, rich text styling also now we can uh, we can also use some different properties that are available inside this which is which is this recognizer and we have used the children property earlier also so these are the extra features which we can say provided by this rich text widget now we are going to use the text field widget so so this widget is not basically used for taking inputs from the user we can also give some decoration to this widget and for that we are going to use input de decoration property now we can give border to our we can also give, uh, give some border to our uh, text field widget and we can specify that what kind of border we want uh, so that uh, so that a uh, user can see that uh, border or not so for that first of all i am going to give input border dot none now label text should be a uh, and in text should be enter your name now just hit control s now you can see this is the text field which is created now here you user can insert values like uh on just clicking this text field the label text uh, comes at the top of the 
uh, widget and the hint is provided inside this now we can enter our name so this is this is no, normally the uses of this widget now we can also provide border to this I just hit control and s now you can see uh, that border is provided to our widget now what we can do we can specify some padding to this widget so just hit control and s now you can have some padding now you can also increase this here is this now you can have this type of text field now this is the normally uh, widget or text field in which we can see what user is typing like whenever we create form so in that we are having password field so we want that the password should not be visible to anyone so for that we can specify the we can use this property of secure text now on uh, specifying it as true it will become secure so now the user can't see what the uh, what he or she have typed so this is the property which are available inside this text field widget so uh, these are the properties we can say or these are the widget we can use for creating or for uh, using in our application so this is all about uh, this video thank you